Hello, Gary here from Killer Off-Road Hobbies, and today we will be doing a full review of the Losi 10 MT Monster Truck. This monster truck rides on 2.8 inch 12 millimeter hex monster truck tires, has a Spectrum radio system with active vehicle control, which is a Losi only option. Underneath this vibrant shell, you will find a 130 amp Dynamite Fuse ESC, 3S capable, a Spectrum steering servo, and a 3800 kV fuse motor. Hey guys, Gary here with Killer Off-Road Hobbies for my final thoughts on the Losi 10 MT Monster Truck. Now this thing comes ready to run from A Main or Tower Hobbies for about $400 and we're going to talk a little bit about if it is worth the $400. Now this truck has active uh, vehicle control which is a really nice, uh, really nice thing. It helps control the vehicle and you know, it just kind of helps the driver out. This thing does have a quite a bit of power for what it is, but um, it comes with a Spectrum 2.4 gigahertz system. It's got this. I mean, it's quite a big transmitter, but it's nice. You get your, uh, you know, your steering trim, your throttle trim, your throttle trim. You got reverse switches. It has the active vehicle control, so you can turn it up or down, whatever. It's actually a really nice transmitter. No problems with this guy. So as far as the transmitter from Spectrum, I'm going to go ahead and give this thing a thumbs up. Even though it is pretty bulky, um, no problems with it at all. It's a good, solid transmitter, and it only takes four, four double A's. Now coming to the truck. Um, do I like the truck? Yes, I do. Um, I have a few pros, a few cons about it, but as a whole, I would say yes, I do like the truck. Um, now, is it worth the $400 you pay for it? We'll get into that in a minute. So, basically, you know, it's a, it's a 10 scale and it's from the Low C 10 series. But what they did with this, they went a little different route with this truck right here. Now it does have CVDs in all four corners, but uh, tow and camber are non-adjustable. So basically, you get what you get. Like whatever, wherever the tires are angled, you know, it just is what it is because it's all just solid plastic rods front and rear. Now the plastics on this thing, I have not had one single issue with. Uh, A-arms, you know, the, the rods, basically everything. You know, even the body. This body has take quite, uh, taken quite a bit of damage. And I mean, it's got a few scuffs on, here on the front. But as far as like cracks and that type of stuff, it's a really durable body. And we're going to get kind of into the durability here real quick. We'll pull the cap off. It does come with the fuse system from Dynamite, which is a 3800 kV 540 size brushless motor. And it's got a 130 amp ESC. Now, I am actually kind of up in the air about this. Um, because I was running on 2S and, you know, I was pushing it kind of hard, but I hit the, the temperature cutoff and it was only, it might have only been like 75, maybe 80 degrees outside. And I mean, you know, I don't think it should do that. It should, it's got a cooling fan. So, I mean, hitting the temp cutoff. 80 degrees outside 
you know, on 2S, if I was on 3S, it, it would have been tolerable, but to hit it on 2S, I just, I don't know. I, I don't think that's, that's right. They should have, you know, it shouldn't hit the temp at that. I mean, if it was like 85, 90 degrees, 3S, yes, I could see it all day long. I wouldn't even be talking about it right now. But to be like 70 to 75 degrees, you know, only on 2S, yes, I was running it kind of hard, but I just, I, I don't see it. That, yeah, I shouldn't have hit the temps at all. So that's one of my cons on this thing is that, you know, you hit the temp cutoff relatively, you know, easily, I would say, with this truck. Now, the servo is Spectrum also, and it's been great. I haven't had one single problem with the servo, plenty of torque to turn these bigger tires on this thing, and, you know, it works. It's got the active vehicle control hooked up to it. You know, it does real good. And, you know, it's solid. I can't, there's nothing about the servo. The servo's a thumbs up. Now, the dynamite fuse 3800 kV motor, it runs pretty hot in this truck. It, it really does. Like, I hit the temperature cut off on the ESC, but the motor was screaming hot, really hot, and that was the same day, you know, 2S, not that hot outside, so I would say that that's a pretty big con for me, is like just running normal RC use on 2S, which is the lower end of what you can put in this thing, it runs hot, so... And it's strange to me because it's 130 amp ESC. You'd think 2S, 130 amps, you know, running a 3800 kV motor, no big deal. But apparently on this thing, it is quite a big deal. And a pro on this thing is that, I mean, it handles nice and it is really tough. Like, like it's, you know, as far as, as I can say, it is really tough. If I compared this thing to, say, the HPI Bullet Flux that I had, this thing, hands down, way, way better of a monster truck. It's really, really tough. But, I have popped the shock, cap, uh, the shock caps off the rear, so they have, I put aluminum ones on there. Um, I mean, that's just kind of one of those things, you know, they need to cut corners somewhere, so... You know, that's not that big of a deal. Um, but I have had a few issues with this thing. Um, chassis being one of the major things. Now, this is the old chassis right here. Yeah. That's not good. That, in my book, that is not acceptable. Like, an A-arm, sure. I would way rather replace an A-arm than the whole chassis. I mean, as far as price-wise, the chassis was cheap. It was only 15 bucks to my door, literally. But the problem is, you have to take all this stuff, everything, completely strip everything down off the chassis and transfer it to the new one. I mean, I just, that's not okay. <laughs> that's not okay. I have no idea why on the previous series, they ran aluminum chassis, and then on this series, they went to a full plastic chassis. I mean, I just, I don't know. I don't understand it, especially when you get this here instead of a broken arm. I mean, you know, this, this thing is tough. I, I will give it that it's tough, but... Broken chassis, that, in my book, that's just not, not something that I want to deal with. Because, basically, you just have to take everything from this and put it into the new chassis. So, you're basically, like, transferring everything. It's like building a kit, almost. Now, outside of that, I mean, I, I don't have a problem with this truck. Um, I actually do like the batter, battery tray. I was unsure about it at first, but I actually do like it. 
and I mean I do like driving this little monster truck it's fun it's got power but um as far as like I don't know as far as would I buy this again well I'm gonna have to say probably um I've actually got an RC coming that was a lot cheaper than this thing. It's the same design, same scale. So I'm going to go ahead and drive that truck first before I give this the definite yes or no to see what kind of problems I have with that. I'm going to bash it at the same spot under the same conditions, 2 and 3S, you know, and see what problems I have with that truck, if the parts, you know, but it's going to be hard to do that <laughs> to um, something else because, you know, basically this is a truggy. I know it's called a monster truck, but anything, like I always say, anything with a wing is a truggy. So it's going to be hard for me for this thing to kind of redeem itself after the broken chassis. Like I said, the broken chassis is not that big of a deal per se. I mean, it's not an expensive fix, but it is a headache. And if it was to happen again, I mean, you're taking screws in and out of plastic. So, you know, you gotta, you always have the chance of stripping them out, you know, just a little, little too much torque on it and it'll strip it out and then you have to glue it in there or you know buy a new piece so as far as the chassis breaking I mean that is a huge 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 problem for me um, I just I don't think it's acceptable at all because um, this platform was with an aluminum chassis and with an aluminum chassis I could have just taken the front off and then like bent it back you know if it would have bent up or whatever but being that it broke, I had to take everything off the old chassis and put it on the new. And I know I've been raving on this, but I don't think that's okay. I don't think making a basher, this is a monster truck. This, is, this truck is for bashing. I don't think it's okay to put a plastic chassis on something that's, to, that's made to go off jumps and, you know, be beat on basically like this thing is. But, like I said, I got that other one coming and we will see how that holds up to sim similar bashing, you know, conditions and see what breakages we get. So, I'm going to say buyer beware on this one. It's $400. That's a lot for a 10th scale, I think, because you can get a Bushmaster for $30 more than that, which is an amazing, amazing buggy. So, that's where I'm going to stand on this thing. I'm kind of on the fence about it. 400 bucks is a lot, especially with the, the plastic chassis. But like I said, I do like the truck. I enjoy driving it. And for newcomers, the active vehicle control is awesome. I mean, it's really, really easy to drive. So, you know, it's got some pros. It's got some cons. But you guys can check out my drive videos. I've had it on a track. I've had it on 2S. I've had it on 3S. You know, I've done a lot of runs with this truck, not on camera. You know, just kind of playing around with it. But, um, you know, I have had some breakages. And one of the breakages was like an insanely major breakage. I mean... So I'm, I'm going to say bar beware. $400 is a lot to pay for something that, you know, if you're me, you're going to have to like kind of be like, man, am I going to break the chassis again or whatever. But I mean, most people don't bash as hard as I do. So for most people, it won't be that big of a deal. But um, I hope you like this video. Thank you for tuning in to Killer Off-Road Hobbies. Please like, subscribe, thumbs up if you like this video. If you didn't like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. And we will see you again next time. Take it easy, guys. Peace.